I got a lip gloss brand, and the names for my lip gloss is something that nobody would have ever thought of. I got one called Nut, and it's the color of some nut. I got one called Gonorrhea. It's green like gonorrhea. I got one called Yellow Discharge, like how girls be having yellow discharge. Booty hole pink, booty hole brown, coochie juice. And coochie juice is clear with silver glitter. It's cute, like the cute, and it smell good. And it's so like, you know, people gonna talk but other people was like, you is a marketing genius, cause it's so, so fast. And it smell good too. I be thinking of all out the box. It's not even on purpose. It's just like my brain helped me think outside the box to do some crazy shit. I got a lip gloss brand, and the names for my lip gloss is something that nobody would have ever thought of. I got one called Nut, and it's the color of some nut. I got one called Gonorrhea. It's green like gonorrhea. I got one called Yellow Discharge, like how girls be having yellow discharge. Booty hole pink, booty hole brown, coochie juice. And coochie juice is clear with silver glitter. It's cute, like the cute, and it smell good. And it's so like, you know, people gonna talk shit, but other people was like, you is a marketing genius, cause it's so, so fast. And it smell good too. I be thinking of all out the box. It's not even on purpose. It's just like my brain helped me think outside the box to do some crazy shit. Shalom and welcome back to another video. All right, all praise to the Most High Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh by Shem Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, Brother Atazawan from the Great Millstone here in St. Louis. And we're going to do a quick lesson. This won't be, this won't be long. All right, we're going to do a quick lesson on the video that we saw with this wicked uh, reprobate uh, female rapper known as Sexy Red. All right, and um, you heard what she had to say about her quote unquote products or lip gloss or whatever it is that she's right pilfering out there or pretty much uh, selling off to. Uh, you would say the niggas of the world. Let's say it that way. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. All right. And um, we'll get into a quick lesson on it. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 26. Like I said, this won't be long. All right. This is Jeremiah 6 and 26. It says, O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth. And wallow thyself in ashes, make thee mourning, as for an only son, most bitter lamentations, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. Right. And for the Israelites here today, you know, instead of trying to carve out your own special niche, right, um, trying to be the most uh, vilest, wickedest, nastiest, filthiest female rapper to ever live. Um, you know, you're actually supposed to be in mourning, okay? Because as the scriptures say, this is not our rest, all right? But here in Babylon, you have those who are still trying to uh, do what? Make their way prosperous in this land, all right? So going on, it says, uh, Jeremiah 26, or so I can, 6 to 27, I have set thee for a tower in the fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melteth in vain. For the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them. Because the Lord Yahweh has rejected them. And more more likely than not, you know, she's just a wicked two-thirds Negro who is rejected by the Most High and will be destroyed, right, in that fiery furnace that is soon to come. And so let's get to the next scripture. Ezekiel 22 and... 17 and it reads and the word of the lord came unto me saying son of man the house of israel is to me become dross all thee are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace they are even the dross of silver therefore thus saith the lord power because ye are all become dross behold therefore i will gather you into the midst 
of Jerusalem. And as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. All right, and that's what's coming to two thirds of the house of Israel, all right, where the Lord has rejected you. He's given you over unto your vile affections. He's given you a reprobate mind, right? You totally disregard the Lord. You disregard the prophets, the teachers, okay, in order to chase prosperity on this side, which will profit you nothing, okay? Going on to verse 21, it reads, Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, and ye shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh Shemel, shall have poured out my fury upon you. You see? So the Lord has a reward waiting for those who are considered the dross, all right, or have that dross on them, all right, because we were once a royal people, a holy people, okay, and we looked at the word in there that said reprobate, right, and it says here, what, an unprincipled person, okay, and when you go down to definition two, it says, uh, what, archaic, it says, a sinner who is not of the elect and is predestined to damnation. That's pretty accurate, all right? I know it says in Calvinism, but definition-wise, that's pretty accurate, all right? The Lord is giving you over to the lust of your flesh, okay? This is James 4 and 4, and it reads, Ye adulterers and adulterers, so I can, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is, is the enemy, right, of Yahweh, okay? <clears throat> and that's what these rappers do, okay, um, doing their best to stick out more than any other so-called, and you're starting to see it more with the women being as raunchy and as filthy and as nasty as they could possibly be. Why? To secure all kinds of endorsement deals, right? To, to get more money to buy the unnecessary bullshit. Okay? That's all it's for. It's all vanity. Because it's not going to benefit you in the end that you are seeing these women do it more than the men. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Yeah, there's nothing that will top a, a woman who studies upon wickedness all day and night, trying to figure out how to, how to scheme and plot. Okay? Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. We'll read it again. Ecclesiastes 25, 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon him. All right. And what, what, do you, what do you say happens to a sinner, right? Because the wages of sin is death, right? And someone who continuously sins against the Most High, all right, that has not repented, okay, that makes you a sinner. And the Lord shall bring judgment against you eventually. Isaiah chapter 1, we'll start here at the top. It says, The vision of Isaiah the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. Right? And what this young woman is doing is promoting 
all right, wickedness to other young women, you know, and thinking that it's funny, right? It was tongue in cheek, uh, a play on words, if you will, okay, for all those different names of her so called lip gloss or whatever the hell that stuff is she named. It's garbage, right? But like she admitted herself, it sold out, right? In record time. What does that say about the young girls today? Where are your mothers? Where are your fathers? To train you and to tell you to stay away from stuff like this. Okay? Stay away from that kind of stuff. Okay? And, and that's because most of the time these, these children are being raised by a single mother who's out there trying to do her own thing. And in fact, encourage it. Okay? Verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, right? And she's being a corrupter. She's corrupting the minds of young children, young girls particularly. Okay? They have forsaken the Lord Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They're gone away backward, right? That's what these people are doing in this day and time. Okay? two-thirds of Israel is as wicked as wicked can be. Verse 5, Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefied sores. They have not been closed neither bound up neither mortified with ointment, right? So the wound is so deep, right, and uncared for that it's just going to fester. It's just going to get worse. And that's the degeneracy that you see of this generation, and in particular, these young women, right, because these are their examples now, right? People like her, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, right, uh, Nicki Minaj, and, and the rest of them, if there's any more out there. Okay, these are their new heroes. Jeremiah 2 and 1, it reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousal, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown, right? Because we show reverence to the Lord, right? Because we wanted the Lord to help us and lead us, right? And we played along like we were going to do right. Verse 3, Israel was holiness unto the Lord and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend, evil shall come upon them, saith the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain? Right. The Lord is asking that question. What have I done to you? Did not I take care of you and give you everything that you said you needed? And yet you walk away from me. Why? All right. And we'll jump down here to verse 19. You can read the whole chapter. But for time's sake, because this chick is not worth putting in 30 minutes on her. Okay, we'll jump down to verse 19 and it reads, Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord, power of hosts. Okay, and so you must maintain that fear of the Lord, man. You do that by living the way that he told us to live according to faith and doing the best you can and living by the law, statutes, and commandments the best that you can, okay? Uh, but ultimately, it is by faith, all right? And the grace and mercy of the Lord, you know, from day to day. Verse 20, For of old time have I broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. When upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, plain a harlot. Right. 
And our people have always promised to do, oh, Lord, I do good, I do good. And then, you know, you what? You turn your back on your promise to the Lord because the first opportunity you get to, to sin, right, or to transgress, you take it, right? And then you go back to the Lord. You say, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. And then you do it again and again and again and again and again. Okay? Verse 21, yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me. For though thou wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, said the Lord Paul. Right. The Lord will forgive you, wash you up, and make you clean, and you go and make yourself filthy and dirty all over again. Right. Dabbling back into your idolatry. Okay. Dabbling back into your world shit. Okay. So this is just another lesson again on the wickedness that goes on in Israel and they're doing it to be glorified right and um, recognized okay and to prosper themselves on this side right transgressing against the Lord and this woman she's she probably you know She's probably seen the prophets, I'm sure. Okay. All right. But Satan is on these people, man. You know, these two thirds are just really acting out, you know, and they're, they're trying to pro uh, prosper themselves on this side. Okay. Which is all vanity. So pretty much that's it. That's all I got to say on it. You know, that's all I had. So uh, with that, I'll just say Shalom.